Salutations everyone, this is What Mattered. Guardians of the Galaxy came out this weekend with high praise. You could say their success was... out of this world. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy came out this weekend. People are loving it, of course, based off of the comic book. A Marvel movie that it kind of went under the radar as far as the lineup for Marvel's Phase 2 went. And it surprised a lot of people. It was a pleasant surprise to me. Uh, if you would like to see a full review of the movie with spoilers and all that good stuff, you can click the link right here. But I thought it was pretty good. Um, definitely not uh, as great as everyone says it is. People are saying it's the best Marvel movie ever made. It's not even the best Marvel movie made this year, guys. Like, do you remember Winter Soldier? That was awesome. But it was a good movie. Very funny. The funniest Marvel movie, I think, easily. And uh, worth a watch, especially since nothing else is coming out for a while, long time. And uh, it was it was pretty good. But uh, not amazing. But just still good. And speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy, at San Diego Comic-Con, they announced the release dates of the sequel to the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, even before it came out, but they must have seen the praise forthcoming as uh, they announced the release date of the sequel, July 28th, 2017, so just barely under three years from now. And uh, it's pretty good for those of you who enjoyed the movie. It's getting the sequel, and uh, I got no problem with that. The first one was pretty good. And speaking of good movies that had a sequel that were announced at San Diego Comic-Con, Godzilla 2 is confirmed to have Rodan, King Ghidorah, and Mothra set to fight Godzilla in this sequel. So 3 on 1, this has got his hands full, but maybe Godzuki could help him? Huh? Anybody? Godzuki? Okay. The first one was pretty good, and now with all the exposition out of the way and three monsters to fight, um, you could just let them fight for even longer, which is... Really, the whole reason people watch Godzilla movies in the first place, and the sequel probably won't disappoint in that respect. By far the biggest movie news that came out this week that had nothing to do with San Diego Comic-Con was when a couple of hackers released some CGI test footage for a Deadpool movie. Now, this is uh, three years old, um, created by Blur, the uh, foremost uh, video game cinematic company, and has Ryan Reynolds voicing the Merc with the Mouth, and supposedly would be doing motion capture in such a movie. But it's CGI, it's really good. You should definitely take a look. Um, I think it was like a fish release by the studios since it's already been leaked out and like in a high def version. So check that out uh, if you can. It's kind of hard to find because it's been taken down so many places. But you know, it, it, you can't miss it. Just you'll, you'll find it if you look hard enough. And it looks really good. A lot of people have their hopes up, like, you know, this is what the movie's going to be like. It's going to be awesome. But this is just test footage. It's If the movie comes out, it's going to have nothing to do with this footage. It's not going to be like it at all. This is just something that a studio will make and show to producers and people at the studios to be like, this is a taste of what we will produce if, you know, we get all the backing for it. So, I mean, the test footage looks good, and if, you know, this gets green lit, it'd be pretty awesome, especially if they do it right after the fiasco of how they treated Deadpool in the, the Max Man Wolverine Origins movie. But uh, they say that uh, this game, this movie, when it gets made, will probably be five to six years from now, which I know sounds like a long time, but if you take a look at, like, X-Men or Spider-Man or, like, any of the other comic book movies and how long they took... To get to the big screen, it was a lot longer than five to six years. So, the producers say, like, uh, you know, nothing gets fast tracked in Hollywood except for Divergent because that thing was just railgunned to the screen. But um, if this test footage uh, is just a glimpse of what they can do, um, they can make a really good movie. They say that it would be PG 13, which has a lot of people down in the dumps about it because to do Deadpool movie or video game or anything it would have to be very very mature very violent very bloody and they said that they can make it just as awesome without having to get that r rating which of course is a studio move to make more money because you know pg-13 will make way more money than an r movie would and uh, i mean just that's expected especially since uh you know no rated r comp book movie has done relatively well at all in the history of cinema this is not a big surprise and they still could make a good film with a pg-13 rating 
um, but you know, it all depends on how it's written, and uh, there's no word yet on like anyone really involved outside of Ryan Reynolds, and that might not be the case, you know, down the road. Don't know if it's going to be CGI or live action, but um, it's got people excited and people talking about it, so at least check it out to see what all the hubbub is about. Xbox games for gold for August goes as follows for the Xbox One will be Crimson Dragon and Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut, and for the 360 they're going to be getting Dishonored and uh, an Avatar Motocross game that people actually really like. And not to be outdone, PlayStation 4 owners are getting The Rogue Not Taken and Fez for free. PlayStation 3 owners are getting Crisis 3 and Proteus. PlayStation Vita owners are getting Metrico, which is just releasing, so they get a, a free brand new game, as well as Dragon's Crown if you live in North America. And for some reason, once again, uh, Europe is getting a different game, and it's a better game as well, uh, Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. Still have no idea why they do that, or why they always give Europe the better game. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. And also at Comic-Con, they released a some teaser footage of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Um, there was a trailer that, of course, somebody filmed, so, you know, it's out there. But this is just, you know, teaser footage just to please fans. It's not going to be in the movie at all, but it shows uh, Ben Affleck as Batman with uh, glowing white eyes. So that's new. Um, pulling a tarp off the bat signal, and then there's Superman up in the sky with his eyes glowing red, looking angry at Batman, and people went crazy. And also we got a look at Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman for the first time. There's a picture of it there, and you get to see her get up, and uh, I am not displeased from what I've seen so far from this film. Uh, hopefully they continue to impress us, and not piss us off with uh, further information, further uh, shots from other people in costume, as well as, you know, a teaser trailer, maybe in the next six months or so. And uh, hopefully this movie is really good, because if it's not, whew, that it's going to kill DC as far as competing with the Marvel Universe. But uh, still too early to judge from what we've seen so far. I don't think we should get uh, too down in the dumps about it yet, because it, it looks not bad yet, so that's the thing. And that is what mattered this week. If you guys would like to know what matters next week and subsequent weeks in the future, you can hit the subscribe button. One of these comes out every single Saturday. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.